In this training module, we will go over how to create and import KML files to your controller for mission planning. You'll learn how to create a KML file in Google Earth Pro, create a KML file in the platform, and how to import a KML file to your drone. In this video, we'll focus on the Phantom 4 RTK and the Matrice 300 RTK drone. Welcome to Propeller U. Now that you've learned how to plan a mission on your remote controller, let's explore another method to draw and import your flight boundary onto your controller. This method involves planning keyhole markup language, or KML, file on your computer, then importing this file onto your controller. The advantage of using this method is that you can plan your mission on a larger computer screen and with a stronger internet connection. Before you get started, it's important to note that most mission planning apps only support up to 99 boundary points through a KML file. Files that have more than 99 boundary points may not work on your controller. We recommend using as few points as possible to prevent errors. To create your KML files, we recommend using Google Earth Pro or Google My Maps. This is the first flight for this site that you will be uploading to the platform. Or if you've already flown and uploaded to this site in the platform, you can plan your new KML file directly in the platform. This is the first time you are flying and uploading to this particular site. You must use software outside the platform to create your KML file. We recommend using Google Earth Pro. To create a KML file using this method, open Google Earth Pro and locate your site. For a 2D photogrammetry mission, use the polygon tool. For a linear flight mission, use the path tool. Draw your polygon or path directly on the model surface, clicking to create a new boundary point as necessary. You can adjust your boundary points by clicking and dragging them to a new location. You can then delete boundary points by clicking on the specific point and then right-clicking with your mouse. You can add additional points to your boundary by selecting a vertex on the side of the polygon you want to add. Save your polygon or path as a KML file. If you've already flown this site and uploaded at least one data set to the platform, you can plan a new flight boundary directly in the platform using your existing data, and then import this new KML file to your controller to create a KML file using this method. Open the platform and navigate to your site. Select the relevant data set that you would like to use to draw your new flight boundary. For a 2D photogrammetry mission, create a polygon measurement around your new flight boundary. For a linear flight mission, create a line measurement depicting your new flight path. Any polygon or line shape measurement template can be used, including a polygon or a line with no template. Edit your shape if you'd like to move, add, or delete boundary points. Give your measurement a name and save. Export your measurement and choose the KML format. Before you can import your KML file to the Phantom 4 RTK remote controller, complete the following. Insert your micro SD card into the aircraft. Format the SD card using the remote controller. Insert the formatted SD card into your computer or adapter. Create the following folder structure in the root directory of the SD card so that the folder path looks something like D colon slash DJI slash KML. Add your KML file to the KML folder. You can copy multiple KML files if needed. Safely eject the SD card from your computer. You are now ready to import your KML file to your controller. Insert the SD card into the controller. Turn on the controller. If the file structure on the SD card is correct, the remote controller screen will prompt you to import your KML file. Tap Import. Tap the three lines icon. Tap the page icon. Select KML file from the drop-down menu. Tap on the file that you want to use for your mission. Tap Start. Tap Edit to convert this KML file into a mission boundary. Plan the rest of your mission using the recommended settings. For more information, check out the mission planning and settings section in our knowledge base. When you're done planning your mission, save the mission, then remove the SD card from the controller. If you do not remove the card, you will continue to see prompts to import the KML file again. To import your KML file to your Matrice 300 RTK remote controller, complete the following steps. Transfer the KML file to a USB flash drive or micro SD card. Insert the USB flash drive or micro SD card into the controller. Turn on the controller. Tap Pilot. Tap Mission Flight. Tap KML Import. Choose your mission type. Select Internal Storage. Scroll to your KML file, then select it. The KML file will now be available in your library. Tap the file name and then tap on the pencil icon on the left side of the screen to plan the rest of your mission using the recommended settings. 
For more information, check out the Mission Planning and Settings section in our Knowledge Base. When you're done planning your mission, save the mission. Then remove the USB flash drive or SD card from the controller. In this training module, we went over how to create a KML file in Google Earth Pro and in the platform, and how to import it to your drone. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can check out the supporting documentation associated with this module or visit our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com.